seven weeks in Asia, I did not plan it. My cousin, Cheyenne, she wanted someone to be with her. So I'm like, oh, hey, why not? And also because I wanted to get out of the pressure from the world. I graduated that, that year and college was the next step. And they saying, you should be this, you should be a nurse, you should be a teacher, you should be an engineer. And I hated that. I hated that when, how people just dictate you with what you should do. I love how God took me into a journey because at first it was myself, forgiving myself. It exposed a lot of hurt that I tried to ignore from the past. And I was mopping and sweeping the stairs. And then Peter was just taking pictures of me. I was just minding my own business, just, you know, sweeping and mopping, mopping the stairs. And then I asked him, how do you know when you're supposed to be somewhere? And this is only one sentence that he said that really spoke to me. He said, when God puts something in your heart, it will never go away. And I took that to heart and I didn't speak to anybody for a week because I didn't want anybody to influence it. I knew that going out of country like Thailand, where I wasn't used to for the past seven years, where the culture is different, I knew that I would be challenged. The breakthroughs in seven weeks of Asia, it was when I was washing dishes and I was mopping again the floor and just doing things, the simple things. He can speak through you those moments. God sees what you do, even in little things. After seven weeks, I realized that um, how much I love comfort. I cannot live with just being comfortable. It really opened my heart, opened my mind to the perspective of what's out there versus on being stuck at home. There's this pressure of having a career and um, work in the office, going to VABC, and the thought of, of going there was there was a peace in there that nobody could take that away. Seven weeks in Asia and VABC was two of the best decisions that I've ever made in my life because first, it was out of my comfort zone, and second, because I'm surrounded with people that will push me. I'm surrounded with leaders that that are using their gifts. I'm surrounded with pastors that, that will encourage you to have a revelation from the Lord and not just believe what they said because they said so. They challenge you to really go deep into the Word and have a revelation from God. They push us beyond our limits and they make us do uncomfortable things. For me to get to where I am now, it took a lot of courage. Um, when I chose to follow what God has put in my heart, it made me a lot stronger and um, I found a whole new confidence. I went from a life full of confusion, full of pressure, to, to a life full of adventure with Jesus.